Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do the second episode of my colleague's Skull and Bones closed beta experience. And today we're going to be looking at the landlubbers. What do you think of them? What do you think of landlubbers when you're a pirate? Let me know in the comments below. Let's get into it. Let's put our feet on terra firma. This one here survived the wreck. Sure looks like it. A survivor? Come on in, Cali. Get it done. We'll never show your ugly mug again. You useless kids. The British wrecked my ship, sank my cargo. But shut you out! Hope you're not worthless. I really needed those goods. You see, this port rises on Chulin's patronage. That merchant's so rich he pisses liquid gold. All I receive is a letter. That fucker wipes his ass to smear my face. I send a full haul of goods, and his demands triple. I need more captains. A proper pirate, I see. <laughs> well, you need a keen eye for prizes. I saw that little tub you washed up in. It's halfway to Flotsam. You got spirits. But you're not ready yet. If you want to get out of those rags and into a real ship, then build your reputation and earn the people's respect. Good things will follow. Do that, and I can make you the most infamous pirate in all the seas. Off you go. We'll see each other soon. Never trust another pirate. There is no one. <laughs> they don't have to Ah, so you're the kelp that washed ashore from the wreck of the Exeter. Skellock may see potential in you, but all I see is a would-be pirat with salt in their breeches. Tell me, what does the pirat king see in someone as ragged as yourself? Ha! And why would others sail with a captain with one leaky boat to their name? But if you prove your worth, even the waves will bend to your will. I expect you'll be wanting a pet on the back, treasure in your boots, and John Skellock's warm embrace. Ha! Saint Anne would sooner slit your throat than be called in paradise. I can build you the mightiest ship in the Indian Ocean, like I did for Skellock with his Margareta. But how you steer it into the waves is up to you, Captain. A pirate steers their own ship, but how it fares in a monsoon depends on its maker. Visit my friend, Zane, the carpenter, and he will help you craft the tools needed for harvesting shipbuilding materials. Ah. 
thank you. Come back again. Ujambo, you have been floating on a splinter of luck so far. To carve a reputation here, you must get your hands bloody. It's the pirate way. You are eager. I like it. But be careful. The blood you spill is not your own. We can help each other. You bring me quality materials and I'll make you the best tools on the red eye. That way, both our names will grow. Maybe we can do business again. from the sea again. Oh, Captain. We setting off? Hope you got a bigger ship ready, Captain. I don't want to have to haul you from the sea again. to the pig, Captain! Throw stuff overboard!
Quarterback captain! If Skerlock vouches for you, then we can do business. I was worried you would not make it back. Continue like this, mate, and fortune will surely come your way. You are one step closer to securing your own vessel. <laughs> You have come many leagues since searching for scraps on the coast. If you have the silver, I will gladly sell you designs stolen from mercantile dogs. With the right materials, you can build a ship to rival their best. Do you have business for me? Ha! Look at that! A ship to call your own and a shoreline calling to good fortunes. Speak to Thomas the blacksmith next. Unless you plan on ramming your vessel into the next Compagni boat, he will build you cannons to sink your enemies instead. I normally wouldn't give a nobody like you the steam off my piss on a good day. But I saw your ship's got nothing sticking out of her gun ports. Hungry little gubby, aren't you? Be careful you don't nibble on company, bait. They'll gut you from stern to bow. The extra crash has left us short on supplies. The company knows this, so they're squeezing us tighter. Bring me supplies and I'll build you weapons to skewer those frogs. Before you can take a point out of the company, you'll need to have teeth. Right now, you're toothless. You need provisions. You'll have to get them yourself. Now, get cracking, mate. Rather Bristol rain than this infernally. How fares your day, pirate?
Devils and blacksmiths like fire. I love the sound of bending steel. These furry cannons, they'll pierce through those dainty company hulls. So, you got your deck scrubbed, cannon swabbed, and your loins girded. Good. It's time you rumble to the company ships. The cocky pricks keep helping themselves to my iron. Blast them to bits. <laughs> 